Hello and welcome to Biology Explained. Today we're going to be answering that all-important question, why humans can't eat grass. Have you ever seen a cow eating grass and wondered, why can't humans do the same? I know I have at some point in my life. Well, where you could go and eat grass right now, it's not going to provide very much nutritional benefit, and even eating too much might cause you to have an extremely upset stomach, so it's not going to really be a very good time. Additionally, grass contains high amounts of silica, which is what sand is made out of. So over time, you're gonna be wearing down the enamel on your teeth, which in humans causes irreparable damage. So in order for humans to eat grass, they would need to be able to efficiently digest this grass and also be able to reduce the tooth damage caused by the silica. Now, you may wonder, ruminants like cows, sheep, deer, or goats are some of the most well-known grass eaters. So how do they manage to eat grass? Well, for a start, ruminants have stomachs with four chambers, the rumen, the reticulum, the omasum, and the abdominosum. This process takes around nine to 12 hours to do, and it's, so it's kind of really time and energy intensive to be able to digest grass. Now, the rumen is especially important because this is where cellulose, a key molecule found in plants, which needs to be broken down into simple sugars like glucose for the cow to be able to use as energy. The rumen contains special bacteria which release enzymes allowing the breakdown of cellulose into glucose and other simple sugars, which can be used for other processes in the cow. Humans simply don't have this enzyme, which is called cellulase, meaning they can't break down cellulose into simple sugars. Cows are able to use this enzyme, which is produced by bacteria in their gut, as I just said, and this allows them to gain at least 15% more nutrients from the grass than they would be able to without bacteria. Additionally, Cows are able to reduce harm from silica in the grass by having teeth that continue to grow all the time. Meanwhile, humans have a kind of set growth limit on their teeth and over time you wear them down, meaning you don't get them back while cows do. So the real question to answer here is because we all know cows eat grass, ruminants eat grass, that's what they're made to do. But the real question is, so were humans able to do any of this in the past? You could argue they might have had some gut bacteria in their microbiome, which is your, all the bacteria in your gut, which allows them to break down cellulose. So they may have contained a bacteria, similar to the cows, that released cellulase enzymes, which broke down this cellulose into simple sugars. However, you could argue that as humans evolved and started eating more meats and other plants that were easier to digest, they would have needed less cellulose breaking down so therefore that bacteria would have died out because it would have not been getting the cellulase, cellulose it needed. And therefore it died out and no longer remains, meaning we can't digest cellulose anymore. I would say liken this to being pretty similar to how some people in certain countries are more lactose intolerant than in other countries. And this is something you may have heard of before. Now, while everyone, all humans start with being able to drink milk because they have to drink their mother's milk at some point when they're born. Over time, this is lost if they stop drinking milk. And this is because the bacteria that they're born with dies out because it's not getting the nutrients it needs from the lactose in milk. I would argue this is similar to how if humans had bacteria that digested cellulose, that's how it happened in humans. Over time, as I just said, we stopped eating uh, heavy cellulose containing plants and therefore that bacteria, which really cellulase enzymes, died out, and so we can't do it anymore. There is a growing body of evidence that early hominids, such as Australopithecus bagrelazii, had larger teeth to allow for the eating of more grass, and therefore was able to withstand the effects of having the high amounts of silica in it. Now, these two changes likely changed from humans. So we lost the bacteria which digest grass and we got less big teeth as we changed our diets from meat and plants to a kind of more farming based culture where we ate easy to digest foods. And therefore because we lost the ability of using it because it didn't give us as big of an advantage as it did previously. Meanwhile cows still have that ability because that's all they do all day. All they eat is very highly cellulose containing plants so they are able to continue doing that. Meanwhile, humans have lost that ability. I hope that's, you've learned something new there. Cellulose is a particularly tricky kind of complex sugar to break down. So you're not really gonna spend the time and effort doing it unless you have to. And so while 
humans might have been able to do it in the past as their diet got more complex and had easier simple sugars to consume they lost the need to actually have bacteria which produce cellulase to break down cellulose and therefore we don't have it anymore meanwhile cows don't eat as simple sugars eat a lot of cellulose so still have to have that bacteria in order to break it down so they can survive i hope that's been an interesting video please like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos from biology explained